The Jeep Wrangler is a legendary SUV with incredible off-road capabilities and military-inspired styling. This rugged SUV is one of the most recognizable automobiles on the road. Everyone knows a Wrangler when they see one. It's also one of the only SUVs still available with a two-door configuration, plus it has multiple options for its removable top. Although the Wrangler is a capable off-roader, it has some nice creature comforts and modern tech features that make it suitable for the daily drive. Its closest rival is the recently resurrected Ford Bronco, another modern take on a classic SUV with impressive off-road chops to match its rugged appearance. So today in this video we gonna touch many features of this amazing American beast, so be attention and don't waste and skip any sec of this review and don't forget to hit like button down below. And now let's go. Driving. There's no doubt the Wrangler is a beast when it comes to off-road prowess. That's especially the case with the Rubicon trim and its 33 inches tires and lockable differentials. But everyday steering and handling suffer because of the traditional body-on-frame construction, solid axle suspension and old-school steering. The brake pedal travel is long, which is great for modulation off-road but not ideal for everyday driving. The 3.6-liter V6 is stout and makes plenty of power. Our four-door Sahara test Wrangler scooted to 60 miles per hour in a respectable 7.6 seconds. The 8-speed automatic transmission shifts smoothly and always seems to be in the right gear. For better or worse, driving the Jeep Wrangler isn't like driving an ordinary SUV from the modern era. When driving on the street, the handling is a bit cumbersome, and the ride can be harsh on rough roads. That's because of its traditional, truck-like body-on-frame construction. That being said, the current JL generation is the most road-friendly Wrangler to date. What the Wrangler lacks in on-road refinement it more than makes up for an off-road capability. No matter which configuration you choose, every Jeep Wrangler is a stellar off-roader. The Wrangler is an off-road all-star, thanks to its generous ride height, favorable approach, departure, and breakover angles, and standard four-wheel drive. A serious off-road enthusiast will want the Wrangler Rubicon. The Rubicon model benefits from a unique suspension with an electronic sway bar disconnect, the RockTrack 4 to 1 low range 4WD system, and 33 inches all terrain tires, making it up for any adventure. Generally speaking, the Wrangler remains a bit of a bear to handle. The steering is slow, and crosswinds cause it stray from its lane on the highway. Bumps and road imperfections are felt throughout your body, and the wind noise is quite tragic at higher speeds with the soft top. A hardtop isn't exactly serene, either, and in general you'll find a Jeep Grand Cherokee or Toyota 4Runner to be way more comfortable and refined. Compared to the Bronco, well, that could actually be worse. On the other hand, the JL Wrangler is improved in all those areas compared to its predecessors, especially its steering, which is not only far sharper and reassuring than the vaguely spooky Wranglers of the past, but actually better than the 4Runners. This Jeep is definitely better than previous Wranglers for daily driving duty, but we still wouldn't recommend that someone purchase one for that sole purpose. Acceleration is perfectly adequate from the base V6 engines, and there's very little hunting and pecking as the automatic gearbox picks the proper ratio. The six-speed manual is fine, with a reasonable clutch pedal that's not too hard or long to make using it a pain. Far from it. There's just enough power to spin the rear tires from a standing start with the V6, but know that the much heavier four-door model will be considerably slower than the two-door Wrangler. As for the turbocharged four-cylinder, it may enjoy a tiny fuel economy advantage, but the real reason to get it is acceleration. The thrust still won't blow you away, but the turbo does represent a performance upgrade. The diesel's abundant torque makes it feel like you're packing a monster under the hood. It unfortunately sounds a bit like a monster too, even if it's smooth and refined for a diesel. Interior. Though there are many controls, the layout is refreshingly intuitive. The slender pillars and square windows greatly reduce blind spots. The driving position is fairly upright, but there's a useful range of adjustment from the seat and steering wheel. The soft top's new design makes it easier to remove than the previous Wranglers. Because of the Wrangler's high stance, most people will need to use the grab handles to get inside. We're also unimpressed by the amount of interior room. The Wrangler has less shoulder and legroom than rivals. It's not the most spacious or accommodating SUV available, but the Wrangler provides a seamless blend of vintage and modern Jeep character. A commanding view of the road, or trail, makes for easy maneuverability, but the view rearward is obscured by thick roof pillars, roll bars, and various grab handles. Need a better view? Just pop the top and remove the doors. Seated close to the upright windshield, the driver and front seat passenger face a narrow, squared-off dashboard punctuated by round air vents and chunky switchgear for the climate control system, power windows, and infotainment. As an errand runner, the Wrangler offers enough room for groceries and gear, but be aware that its rear seats don't fold flush with the floor. As you might expect, there's a significant cargo hauling trade-off for going with the classic two-door Wrangler versus the larger unlimited four-door model. Fitting just two of our carry-on cases behind the two doors back seat, versus 10 for the four door, means packing light if you're adventuring with friends. The 2023 Jeep Wrangler has a stylized interior to match the exterior looks. 
There's no mistaking it for any other vehicle when you're inside. The exterior paint bleeds through onto the pillars and other parts of the interior. A tall, upright seating position provides a commanding view over the relatively short, narrow hood. You sit close to the windows in a windshield that is more raked than past Wranglers. All the controls are easily within reach. The base Wrangler comes with a 7 inches touchscreen that features wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto, but an 8.4 inches touchscreen with navigation is available if you want more screen real estate. There's a disparity in materials depending on how you option it. A Sahara or Rubicon with all the leather boxes checked can start to feel half luxurious inside, while a base sport is a plastic and rubber paradise. Regardless of trim, though, the Wrangler's interior is a very different place to be than most SUVs for sale today. Removal There are multiple roof designs available, but all allow the Wrangler to be a convertible, albeit with varying degrees of difficulty. There are two Sunrider soft tops that differ in material but offer the same improved functionality over the previous generation Wrangler. They are still very noisy and have plastic windows. The optional three-piece hardtop, available with black or body-colored pieces, improves security and visibility, and quiets things down considerably. It also provides a pair of removable panels over the front seats, but they have to be stored someplace. You can also remove the rear quarter window panels, as you can with the Sunrider, for a freer flowing cabin while keeping the roof in place to prevent sunburns. If you're okay with the sun, though, there's another option, and it may be the best of both worlds. The Sky One Touch Power Roof is basically a giant cloth sunroof that provides the quickest and easiest way to let the air and sunshine in. Finally, Jeep lets you do some things other manufacturers don't with the Wrangler. The big one is that the doors can be taken off, you can also spec the dual door group option to get half doors. Then, if you particularly enjoy the taste of bugs, the windshield can be laid flat on the hood. Remove the roof and you're basically left with a Jeep skeleton. Features like these are just the beginning of why the Wrangler is so well loved by its fanbase. Engine The standard engine is a 3.6-liter V6 good for 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. A 6-speed manual is standard and an 8-speed automatic is optional, but selecting the 8-speed automatically steps you up to the e-torque mild hybrid system equipped version of the V6. Fuel economy estimates for 2023 were not available at the time of this writing, but if there are any changes from 2022, they'd be tiny. All fuel economy estimates from here are from 2022. The four-door automatic Wrangler was 19 MPG City, 24 MPG Highway and 21 MPG combined. Differences in body style and transmission change these ratings, but not drastically so. A 2.0-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder is a no-cost option. It produces 270 horsepower and 295 pounds FT of torque. The 8-speed auto is standard. Fuel economy improved to 21 24 22 with the four-cylinder. This engine also requires premium fuel. Once one of the Wrangler's most appealing engine upgrades, the 3.0-liter turbodiesel V6 has been overshadowed a bit by new offerings, but it's a distinctive option and certainly has upsides for those who worship at the altar of torque. It produces 260 horsepower and 442 pounds FT of torque. It too is automatic only. Fuel economy went up to a more appreciable 22-29-25 for 2022. This combination of power, torque and fuel economy used to make the Eco Diesel an excellent choice, but today's sky-high diesel prices have wiped out any savings one used to enjoy at the pump. The standard 285 horsepower 3.6 liter V6 from the previous generation Wrangler makes its way under the hood of the new JL and can be paired with a 6-speed manual gearbox or a smooth shifting 8-speed automatic. A turbocharged four-cylinder engine is optional and teams up with an electric motor to provide additional low-end power. In addition to the standard V6 and optional four-cylinder hybrid, the Wrangler can also be equipped with a 3.6-liter V6 with similar hybrid assist, a 3.0-liter diesel V6, a 375-horsepower plug-in hybrid 4Z powertrain, and a 6.4-liter V8 are also available. Wranglers are born off-road ready, so part-time four-wheel drive is standard across the range and is controlled by a lever on the center console. In our testing, a base two-door Wrangler Sport with the V6 and the six-speed manual transmission sprinted from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.1 seconds. A well-equipped four-door Sahara model with the automatic transmission did the deed in 6.8 seconds. With the four-cylinder hybrid powertrain, the four-door Sahara was slightly quicker at 6.5 seconds to 60 miles per hour. The Rubicon model and the High Tide model, both of which carry additional weight in the form of heavier-duty off-roading equipment, weren't as quick as the others in our testing. Performance at our test track shows that the Wrangler JL is much improved compared with the previous model, but it's merely holding steady with its rivals in some metrics. Although its handling has improved, it's still truck-like in comparison with today's refined SUVs and pickups. The ride in the four-door is acceptably smooth over rough surfaces, but braking distances were inconsistent between our two test vehicles.